Hi everyone, welcome back to Elmer's Restoration. This will be the last video on the boot floor. I've got a very quick repair to do on the bump stop bracket because I'm going to repair that instead of replacing it because it's 99% good metal. I'm then going to go and get the boot test fitted, clamped, screwed, bolted in and then I'm going to start welding it in place. And I'm going to show you snipping in and out what I've been doing, then that gets a line drawn under the boot floor if you like. I have been busy. I've ordered quite a few heritage panels. They're all boxed up just now, but here's a photo of what I have bought. Yeah, quite a few. That'll keep me going quite a while and um, it drained the finances quite a bit as you can imagine. Right, straight into the pit repair, get this done and then I can move on to the next part of Eleanor. I'm just going to repair this little crack here. I'm going to run a series of weld along here just to beef this bit up and give it strength back. There we go, probably a bit excessive but that's what a grinder's for. So just makes it solid, gives it that bit of extra strength, layer of zinc primer and that's um, this bracket good to weld onto the new panels when they come. And there we go, a very quick repair. Just wanted to show with a slight crack and a bit of thin metal, it doesn't always have to be a patch cut out and cut in. You can use the welder to fill it up. 
and depending on how neat you want, you could smooth it off more, you could go back fill it, you know, it, it's all about the time you put in, the finish you get. So all the prep work underneath the floor is done, the floor's ready to go in. This, I run out of clamps, you've never got enough clamps, so I think I'm going to get more, because I'll need more for when the actual main floor goes in. But I lined it all up and I thought it was lined up quite good with all the arches, the rear panel, the floor, the rear seat panel. And then my plan always after that was to get this subframe, which is what I picked up with the 1979 Clubman. Um, and I was going to use that as a jig. So it took a few hours to get it just exactly how I want it to get it manoeuvred. You move one bit, it moves another bit, and you know it just takes time. And if you if you rush it, it's it's going to give you problems down the line. Panels will not line up, the car will crab, the subframe will not line up. So you just need to make sure you take your time on it just now. If you're getting frustrated with it, which you will, just uh, walk away and leave it and come back another day. I had to do that a few times before I've done this. So I'll give you a look round and I'll show you what I'm up to at this stage. And then I can get the car spun round because I'll need to put some um, self-tapping screws in again to pull it closer with the panels on the inside. And then a couple of plug welds and um, work from there. So, the subframe lined up fairly good at the floor and it was slightly off at the points here. More so, I have to say, on this side. This side, for whatever reason, always gave me problems with fits around the wheel arch. But, like I say, because I've got it all in place now, it lines up perfectly here. I've got the new subframe mounting kit bolts there. Unfortunately, the rear heel board on this side had studs snapped off, so I couldn't put bolts through here, but there is half a stud here, so it is held where the bolts are, if you're wondering why that's holding that on there just holding it tight against the bolts so yeah I'm pleased I've done it with this I obviously had the underside support bars to hold the arches at the right place but if you're doing this job I would recommend either using a subframe or a jig because it ultimately lines up all the panels mainly the floor and the, the boot and it just keeps them all square these have got slight flex in them when you're um, when you're fitting new ones but the floor needs to be spot on and um, you can see from the clamps plenty all the way around I used the locating holes for the bumper for the rear panel flanges all lined up here clamped on where I think they'll need clamps like I say I'll get more because you can never have enough clamps and it's pretty much the same on the other side Clamps all the way. So I'm going to get the car spun round. This is solid enough, and it's not. I mean, it, it is heavy, but it's not that heavy that when it turns over the car, it shouldn't be able to support it on the on the jig. Because I need in to get this pulled tight, which is the rear heel board. And also under here, and I'll get pulled, pulled tight. So I'll spin the car around, I'll give us a better look from the other way around. So, this is the first look I'm getting off the boot floor in, this way around. You, had, you could see you didn't get a good look from the other side, but it's looking good. The bump, uh, the bump stop bracket there, you can see there's a slight gap on either side. That's because the floor is starting to be pulled up so we'll see what that looks like once um, that's all pulled tight. But it's been a while since I've seen a boot floor in here and uh, it looks good. It really does. And be under no illusions how long and how much hard work it's taken to get to this stage. It's a huge job not to be underestimated into the front. So the final work I need before welding is to get it all lined up here 
it is quite good actually but when it's pulled tight here that'll narrow the gap there and the first place I will be welding is all along here and again I'm going to get it all cleaned all the rust and everything so there's nothing sitting between the flange and the seat there get some um, self tappers in which I had in here before and get it pulled tight so I'm going to go do that off camera and then I'll come back and we'll see what the fitment's look, looking like then put a clamp on here to hold that in place just now this won't be getting welded because the floor needs to be removed I've put a couple of bolts in, one there, one across here, just to pull that tighter so it's tight enough there. Again the floor is getting replaced so this isn't going to have to be welded at the moment. When you pull all that tighter at the back, where I was showing the gap earlier on, you can see it now pulls this flange up. Still needs a bit of work, again that flange is flexible and so is this one. It's um, close enough for me to be happy. The support bracket here, close enough here, it's going to get welded on. So I think I've done as much prep work as I can at the moment. I'm just going to go and start plug welding, taking my time, making sure that I'm not going to have to go back and do work for myself. What I always say as I was doing these videos is I would show mistakes as I'm going because I'm learning as I go. So when I cut this up, not when I cut this up, when I drilled the holes when I lined up the first time. If you remember, I've drilled along here. Now that I've had to adjust it quite a bit to fit so it's a perfect fit, you can see that some of the holes that have been cut don't line up with the heel board underneath. Some do but some go off so that's um, an error on my part but when the floor's out I'll um, fix all this. This will get all plug welded up and I'll do it correctly. I think the route I'm going to go down is I'm going to get a extended arm to the spot welder and I'm going to also if I go the plug welding route I'm also going to spot weld just to give it that little bit of extra strength. Same with this to be honest, I'm going to plug weld but I'm going to do some stitch welds as well to give it that extra strength. So I'm going to go do a lot of work off camera and I'm going to show you the results when I come back. But it's taken a long time to get to this stage and I'm really really looking forward to moving on from here and starting some separate panels but it does feel good getting it back in. It'll feel even better getting it welded back in. So what you've seen there was me having a bad day in the garage. Nothing seemed to be going right. The welding wasn't quite how I wanted it to be. And rather than bash on and make things worse, I decided just to down tools and leave. You have to do that at times. You know, sometimes if you try and carry on when you're having a day like that, it just makes things worse. So I've learned the hard way before, walk away, which is what I did. I'm back a few days later, refreshed and ready to go again. The, um, the ups and downs of car restoration. Sometimes you love them, sometimes you hate them. Anyway, I'm going to carry on and I'll come back when I've got an update for you. This last section has been filmed on a new camera I've got. I'm trying to get better mic quality and better picture quality to you guys so let me know what you think of this last outro in comparison to the other videos or the start of this video. So the boot floor is in as much as it can be in because I've still got a lot of panels to replace surrounding it 
which will be coming next. It's a lot of work to do the boot floor and I was I was prepared for that, I knew that and I just took my time over a space of time making sure I got it right. There were some frustrating bits particularly the welding at the end there some that I will need to sort of go in and tidy up and finish off once I've got more access. The problem I had um, with that apart from the usual thin metal burning holes etc is the access. So for example this here to get in at the back you're stretching and if anyone's watched my videos longer term they'll be aware I've got permanent nerve damage on my neck and shoulder so stretching and twisting causes me slight problems which means I can't be as steady with welding and it just makes it a little bit more difficult to try and do it so for the places I couldn't reach I might need to go back in later on and just finish off and it's more an aesthetic thing because the penetration side of it's spot on because you can check on the underside um, so I like things to look nice which is why I will go back and get them looking um, perfect otherwise they'll just eat away at me <laughs> and, and they will you, you can do anyone watching this will be the same you can do the whole card and if there's one little thing you're not happy with it'll just niggle and niggle until you go back and do it so just go back and do it but anyway I'm ready to move on from the boot floor now I'm pleased with the job I've done next I will be moving on to the wheel arches I've got all the parts there that you've seen at the start of this video and I'm looking forward to the next challenge and hopefully I can bring you some good content while I'm doing it so if you've got any questions or any feedback or any advice keep it coming I love the interaction and until the next video thanks for watching take care and I'll see you in the next one cheers